Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for a new video. In this video, what I'm gonna do is basically give you guys some pointers. I know a lot of people are really, 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 really excited about the fatality drop. Fatality. I know there's a lot of new waivers of people that may be asking the question of like, okay, man, with all these brushes, what kind of brush should I buy or what should I look for? You know what I'm saying? So what I figured I'd do is I'll make a quick little video to show you guys as well as explain the site a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So y'all yeah, stay tuned. It's about to be a good video. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because, as you all know, as a waiver, one of the most important tools that a waiver can have is a brush. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to having dope waves, the quality of the brush really does play a factor in the long term. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to be able to have a brush that'll last for a while, especially after you wash it or whatever. And all of the brushes that I bought from Brush King, I've washed them several times. Bristles have not lost the firmness or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? So, so I don't want to waste you guys' time. So let's jump straight into it. All right. So when when it comes to bristles, one of the first things you'll notice is he has several different options when it comes to the number of rows on each brush. You have some brushes that are seven rows, you have some that are eight, you have some that are nine, and you even have some that are 10 rows. You know, what that boils down to, the less rows that a brush has, such as a royalty brush, a royalty brush only has seven rows. Now, this helps by being able to get reached down deep into your pattern and get all the way down to your scalp. This gives the brush great pull, and at the same time, it allows allows you to be able to really define your pattern. You know what I'm saying? As you go up in the number of rows, so if you go to an eight row brush, what that simply means is all the bristles won't be able to get down all the way into your scalp. And you'll notice that with a seven row brush, you'll be able to feel it more on your scalp. It'll feel a lot more prickly. But when you get up to like a Torino Pro, which has nine rows, or even the, the brushes that has 10 rows now, what you'll notice is when you put it against your scalp, it doesn't feel as prickly. And when you get brushes that are nine and 10 rows above, they they have more of a laying effect because they glide more across your head you know so they have great pull because of the fact that they have a lot of bristles and the nine and ten row brushes are really great for vertical brushing you could brush this way or you can brush this way and you have the greatest benefit from from the brush now with a seven row brush you can vertical brush but because of the spacing is so wide you can miss some parts of your waves so you really don't want a vertical brush with a seven row brush so enough about rows the next thing you want to know is what kind of brush should I buy On on the website you'll notice that he has soft medium medium firm and even hard brushes you know what i'm saying so one thing that i've learned is that when it comes to brush king brushes all of the soft and mediums are the first to go so if you want to make sure you buy a brush that won't go out of stock my best guess is to make sure you buy a soft or a medium brush simply because most people don't tend to like to use the hard brushes, especially the newbies, you know what I'm saying? Most of the OG waivers and most of the elite waivers know how to use a hard brush. And I even made a video on how to properly use a hard brush, right? And I'll leave that link right up here. But, but, but those are the brushes that typically sell out first are the soft and mediums, you know what I'm saying? So if you see a soft and medium brush that you like, make sure you copy it, you know what I'm saying? Even if you can only get one brush. Now, when it comes to brush types, a lot of people don't know, but there is a difference between waiver styles, you know what I'm saying? There's there's uncompressed waivers and then there's compressed waivers. This is something that I learned from Brush King and he basically gave me all of the advice when it comes to uncompressed waivers versus compressed waivers when they want to look for brushes. I'll have a video coming in the future about what's the difference between an uncompressed waiver and a compressed waiver. But as of right now, what you need to know is if you are a compressed waiver, which simply means that you compress your hair more throughout the day, you want to look for soft or medium brushes. You know what I'm saying? You want to lean more toward the medium all the way down on the spectrum of the brushes. Now, if you are an uncompressed waiver, then you want to benefit more so from the medium firm and up. You know, the reason why is because as an uncompressed waiver, we really don't care about our hair being laid down, but compressed waivers do. So compressed waivers get the best benefit from using softer brushes. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's all I really have to say right then. And now I don't want to talk you guys heads off. Now, I will show you what the website looks like because Brush King has revamped the website. So let's get straight into that. All right, now, like I said, when you come to the website, you will see that Brush King revamped the website. As you can see, he has a video plan. When you come to the site, the first thing I, I wanna point out is the fact that as of right now, because the brushes just dropped, there's a high volume of orders being placed. 
which means that it'll take about seven to 10 business days for your order to be shipped out. So with that being said, just make sure that you are patient with re receiving your brushes. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's usually like this whenever it's the first drop of anything. All right, now when you come to the site over here to the to the left, you'll notice that they have the Torino Pros, the Royalties, the Wave Wear, Shoe Rags, Do Rags, and Combs. Now what you wanna click on are the Torino Pros. Now one thing that I like about the Torino Pro in the layout of his new website is the fact that Brush King has has the brushes laid out very organized for waivers. You know, so one thing that you'll notice is this column for the most part on the left side is mainly all soft brushes. So if you scroll through, you'll see this is a soft home. This is a soft club. This is a soft long handle brush. This is a soft curve brush. This is a soft curve long handle brush and so on. You know, so now the middle column are for the most part, the medium brushes. On the right side, all the brushes are hard. You know, so you notice the, the hard palm, then you notice the hard club, uh, and then the hard long handle and, and so on and so on. So that's one thing I like about the website you'll notice that you'll be able to benefit from. The one thing that you also notice is that he has these curved brushes. I know a lot of people always ask about CQPs, but if Brush King made these brushes, I know for a matter of fact, they're gonna be great, you know what I'm saying? CQP a long time ago, they, they decreased their quality, but Brush King is the type of person where whenever he makes a brush, he puts the best quality in, and once it's sold out, it's sold out forever. So if you've always wanted to get a curved brush, like a CQP, I highly recommend you getting one of these brushes. Now, the last type of brushes that I wanna point out are the Torino Pro Duet Collection. What this simply means is on one side of the brush, on the face side, there's one color, and then on the back side, there's a different color. And these are the brushes that you will notice that have nine rows, seven rows, some have eight. But yeah, so just to wrap this up a little bit, with the Torino Pro Duet Collection, this is more so his signature uh, with the gloss paint and everything like that, you know? Now, that's everything that you need to know about the Torinos. If you want to check out the royalties, they, they are still located over to the right. Now, most of these brushes are sold out, so keep that in mind. He also has wave wear, you know what I'm saying? You can like check out the different t-shirts and things like that. All you have to do if you wanna check something out, you can just click on it, hover over it, and then click quick view. And what that'll do is it'll show you all the different options of all the different shirts in that style, or even hoodies, or even long sleeve sweatshirts. And last but not least, you have the Sue Rags, Do Rags, and Combs portion. Right here, you can find the, the So Many Waves Do Rags that a lot of people typically look for. He has a combo pack. He also has Sue stocking caps and things of that nature, as well as Sue Rags all throughout the website. All right, so with that being said, that wraps up this video. I don't want to carry it out too long, you know what I'm saying? What I'm going to do is go through the website and basically see what kind of brush I want to buy. I may buy one or two, maybe even three, you know what I'm saying? You never know. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the rest of my videos that I have on my channel, you know what I'm saying? I put a lot of effort just to be able to provide a catalog of different videos that can benefit you from products, brushes, as well as brush angles and things of that nature. But it's your boy, Jay Lou. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Finish him.